I'm Mark Callion, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Today I'm going to be talking about removing bubble algae. Now what is bubble algae? Well, bubble algae is exactly what it sounds like. It's algae in the form of a bubble. It looks like little green balls in your tank. And personally, it really pisses me off. Now why is that? Well, one, it's pretty resilient stuff. It can survive three days of darkness really well and even low light conditions. So it can hang out in your sump, it can grow there, it can thrive there. It's pretty resilient stuff. Number two, it can show up even if your water parameters are perfect like mine are in my tank. I have no phosphates, no nitrates, but the stuff showed up in my tank. And number three, it spreads by kicking out little teeny spores. So you can't necessarily see it if it's incoming on a frag or maybe even on a fish. So you could dip your frag thinking that you're killing all the stuff that's on there like all the pests, but in reality, you might be getting some bubble algae in your tank and you just won't know it until it grows big enough for you to see it. But luckily, there are a couple easy ways to remove it, and that's what I'm gonna show you all today to keep it out of your tank. So there are a couple of things you're gonna to need to remove bubble algae from your tank. The first is a spare five gallon jug, because we're gonna to wanna to be sucking the water out of our tank as we're removing it. And I'll get to that in a minute. The second thing we're gonna need is a piece of airline tubing, like this. You can get this like it's any standard bubbler airline tubing, and then a piece of hard tubing like this. Now, why do we need this? Well, this is gonna go in conjunction with why we need this five gallon bucket. Now, bubble algae spreads by dumping out spores. So if you pop the bubble algae, it's gonna dump all these spores down on your tank. Wherever those spores stop and stick, you're gonna get a new piece of bubble algae. So what we're gonna do is cut the bubble algae out and then suck out any spores with this tubing and get it out of our tank. Now that's the idea. You can't see the spores, so it's a little bit of shot in the dark. You might still get some in your tank, but if you stay on top of it, it's not that big of a deal. So, five gallon bucket for the water that we're sucking out of our tank to go into. Airline tubing to go down into the bucket and then hard airline tubing so you can aim this. Now if you try to use just a soft tubing, it's gonna drive you nuts. You're gonna need something a little more rigid like this airline tubing here to really get in there and point it and really suck up the water that you want. Next thing you're gonna need is some tweezers because you're gonna wanna get all the bubble algae out. If you cut off just the top and leave the base, it'll grow back. So you're gonna to wanna to have some nice tweezers to grab onto them. Lastly, you're gonna want some way to cut it out. Now, you can use a razor blade, straight blade, but I like using scalpels better. Why? Because I can control this easier, and this is actually something they use for surgery. I got this from one of my surgeon friends, so thanks for giving it to me, Doc. And I, these are gonna be super sharp, and I can really control it really finely to cut out what I want. And some pieces are gonna be big enough that I can just grab them out and rip them out, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. And then lastly, you're gonna to wanna to have your new water ready to go. So once you pull the water out of your tank, you just refill the water you took out with your mixed up salt water. So those are the couple things that you're gonna to need to remove bubble algae on your tank. Now let's get our hands wet and show you how we get this stuff out of there. All right, so we're about ready to get started cutting out some bubble algae. The one thing you wanna make sure you do is you turn off all pumps in your tank. So your return pump, your power heads inside of your tank, turn them off. That way, if we do cut into a piece and it breaks, releases all those spores, it won't blow all over your tank. We'll be able to suck them up with our little airline tube and get them out of there. So, let's get to cutting. This is a piece of bubble algae that should be pretty easy to grab for our first time around. You can see it's got some nice size to it, and it's a place that's fairly easy to get to in the front of my tank. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna come down in here with my airline tubing, and as you can see, this stuff is it's pretty firm. Um, but I should be able to just kind of give this stuff a, a little love tap here, just mm, love on it a little bit. You see, that's just gonna rip right off. And since I'm sucking onto it with my airline tubing, I'm just gonna hold onto it like that. I can grab it with my hand, my other free hand, and just take it out of the tank and dump it into the, uh, the bucket. So then it's trashed, it's out of my tank. So I'm just gonna keep doing that because this piece is coming off pretty easy. You can see it, it's holding on pretty good there. This stuff's pretty resilient, like I said. But again, if we break any of these, it's not ideal, but mm -hmm. ideally we will grab the spores when we break the ball. So here's a nice little section. We're gonna get this done. There's one little dude hanging on right here. I'm just gonna kind of punch on them a little bit, see if I can get them to break off. Oh, yeah, they just went right down the tube. Easy as pie. Some of these smaller pieces are gonna break right off and go down your tube. And once I'm done, area looks clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape over it, really make sure that it's, uh, there's no other balls and bubble algae hanging out there. So 
that's that little area. It's nice and easy. There's nothing else in this area that I see that I really want to get rid of. So I'm just going to move on to the next problem area. All right, here's some bubble algae that I haven't been able to rip off with this airline tube. So you can see I've just got a little bit of the skeleton, little leftovers right here. So I'm just going to cut it out with my scalpel. Get a little cut, just like this. Just keep cutting, letting it get sucked out by my tube. And we'll just keep going here. Can even use it to rip it off and then suck it right up. So the last stage of this is, you see that little skeleton still hanging out right there? We're gonna wanna make sure that's out of the tank. So I'm gonna grab my tweezers. Again, I got my airline and tube in place. I got my airline tube right in place. Grab that stuff and suck it right out. The base of bubble algae is really strong. That's why you have to cut it out sometimes. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go over with these tweezers really rip out any of the base that's left hanging around. This will help prevent it from coming back at a later date. So here's some bubble algae on the back side of this plug. You can see this stuff's great at hiding out. I'm gonna get in here and really make sure that I can get this stuff out of there. So I got my scalpel, I've got my airline tube, and I'm just gonna cut and grab whatever comes off. And all of those are gone. Sometimes you get them stuck in your tubing. Just give them a little tap. They'll go right down the line. I'm just cutting. This plug looks a little loose. You can see I got that out, started down the tube, push a little bit. I don't care if I break it when it's in the tube because that's going to catch all the spores. And I'm just cutting and sucking up anything I get out of there. There's a nice piece. Get out of there, die, die. And of course, be careful as you're moving your rock work around. Last thing you want is stuff to fall out and fall on your, all over the, your nice corals and destroy your aquascaping. Well, here's a big problem area of some big growth of bubble algae that I have in my tank. Now, I could get in here with a knife and just kind of grab it all, but this stuff's probably gonna be loose enough that I can just so you guys should just grab that right off and it just peels right off. And I'm gonna get back in here with my nice little air wand and suck out anything that, uh, any of those volatiles that I might have popped. So you can see that's a pretty nice chunk of bubble algae. It just grows on top of itself. It just came out in one nice piece. Now, since this stuff is pretty hard, it's pretty dense, I'm not gonna to go too hard into it to try to get it all off. Instead, I'm gonna to talk to you about the next secret weapon that you can use against bubble algae. The last way you can get bubble algae out of your tank is to use an emerald crab. Now here's one of my emerald crabs going at this piece of bubble algae. Now emerald crabs have some nice pinchers as you can see here that are really good at grabbing onto those pieces of bubble algae, ripping them off, and then eating them. Now there's two risks associated with using emerald crabs. Number one, there's no guarantee that they're gonna eat bubble algae. But I got lucky with this one here who's going to town on this piece of bubble algae in my tank. Number two, when they do rip off that piece of bubble algae, they can break it and release all those spores, spreading more bubble algae in your tank. But if you have a good army of emerald crabs, they're gonna clean up any small new pieces that crop up because those new pieces of bubble algae will be easier to get off than this older, harder piece here. And they make a great member of your cleanup crew. So worst case scenario, you got a stronger cleanup crew at the end of the day. And they're fun to look at. So once you've removed all your bubble algae, this is the best part. This is when you get to kill it. You can dump it down the drain and know that it's gonna die, or you can leave it out in your yard, let it dry up in the sun and watch it shrivel up and die a slow, painful death. So that's how you remove bubble algae. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Remember, if you don't know your tank personality, you're throwing money down the drain, just like this bubble algae. Die, die, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. See ya. God, I hate that stuff. <sighs> I need a beer.